Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby and in the previous episode Groudon awakened from his ancient slumber and now he's making his way to Sutopolis City and we gotta stop him so first thing we gotta do we gotta sail north up a little bit and then we're gonna find a spot in which we can actually make it to Sutopolis yeah and I believe that area put another repel it's right over here somewhere. Yep, right here. This is the very small path you want to take to get to Sutopolis. Yeah. Let's dive down real quick. And then from there, it should be pretty obvious on how to get to this rather large city. Oh, man. Diving is so cool. You have the mask thing from the TV show, and, you know, it's just really colorful. There's love discs, and it's pretty ambient. I like it, but... We do have more pressing matters at hand rather than admiring the scenery. There's an ancient Pokemon on the loose, and someone's got to take him down. And, well, that's pretty much going to be us. So, let's hustle. Oh gosh, and that eerie music. I really do not like that music. But it does make the whole scenario a lot more interesting, I guess. <laughs> Alright, the Pokemon is up there. We don't have too much use for that at the moment. Let's just make our way up here. And No, I don't need another Repel on, actually. At least not for a little while. And okay, we found Steven. And who's this guy? Johnny. So you did come. I've been waiting for you. What terrible heat. It feels as though the entire world will be burnt away. Ah, uh, yes. You need to hear what my friend has to say. Hey, man, what's going on? Mm, my name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I've always been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This drought is being caused by power emanating from the Cave of Origin. Really? That is the Blue Orb. I see. Follow me. Alright, am I not supposed to have this? I uh, hope not in any trouble. The sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live. So why does this sunlight fill us with so much dread? Blazing sun over Sutopolis, growing even more intense. Soon all of Hoenn will be caught under its withering glare, if that were to happen. Team Magma and Team Aqua. We've been waiting for you, scamp. Leader Maxi, to that child. I know what must be done. I will entrust this to you. It is the fruit of our collaboration with the Devon Corporation, and it represents the height of Hoenn's technological knowledge and skill. We've actually been preparing that in anticipation of making contact with Groudon, but at this point it doesn't look like there's any hope of that happening for us. There's nothing we can do except leave it to you. And yet... Is it even probable that anyone could pass through that magma? Now fiery than ever due to the forces of nature. That is true. It is very possible that its energy could have far gotten greater than calculations show. There is nothing to fear. The blue orb he bears, it is ancient power, will protect both the boy and his Pokemon. You hit the nail right on the head. Those old folks in my pyre did say something about that. The red orb would unleash Groudon's primal powers and trigger a primal reversion, while the blue orb had the power to reverse that and calm the beast. Yes, the energy overflowing from the Cave of Origin just now. It is the same energy that gives Groudon its power. With the Blue Orb, which contains the power to suppress that, it should be possible to calm the rage of this flood of magma. Of course, the Blue Orb's power alone will not lead you to Groudon Waits. You will not reach Owen's core that way. Use the suit that you were just given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. Johnny, to think you had the blue orb, you'll be okay. You and your Pokemon can handle it. 
whatever happens. I believe that. No man or woman from Sutopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go. Together with your blue orb, you must go regardless of what waits for you inside that cave. Well, at least you got our people together on top here to help any folks in Pokemon in trouble. My little scamp of a savior. Looks like you're making to bear all the burden of your little shoulders alone. I'm sorry for that. But, I know you're gonna see this through. Child, you... No. I have no right to call you child. Fellow trainer, I have caused great harm, and for that, I apologize most sincerely. But now we find ourselves at an impasse, and you and your Pokémon are all that humanity has to count on. And it stand against Groudon. The fate of the world, the world upon which humanity thrives, the fate of our world rests in your hands. Johnny, I heard on the news that things were getting haywire around Zootopolis, and then I saw you on Buzznav, Johnny. I couldn't sit there and do nothing when I heard you were here in the thick of it, so I came flying. Hmm? Ah, is it Team Magma and Team Aqua? Oh, okay. I can just say that I am, like, shocked and confused on so many levels right now. This is probably something way bigger than I can imagine, isn't it? So I'm not even going to ask right now. I'm going to try to find out what I can do to help. And I'm going to do my best with that. I'm going to keep on hoping and believing you, you'll be okay out there, Johnny. Because... Because you... You are the best friend I have. Man. What a truly intense scene. And well, guys, it's up to us. Let's go stop. Ground on. So first things first in the cave of origin there's gonna be a lot of random encounters so we need to turn on our super repel and it's best to bust the bike out and also make sure to heal any pokemon that are not doing so hot mostly we're gonna need hattie for this next one ground on as you know has a word of ground in it and that might help us a little bit to have a flying type in this scenario anyways Cave of Origins is huge. And the constant rumbling of Groudon is going to constantly impede our progress, so we got to look out for that. It doesn't really stop us in any way, and thanks to the Super Repel, we're not going to run any wild encounters, but it is mildly annoying to have to stop just to hear this mighty beast growling. Oh, gosh. Getting more frequent and frequent the closer we get to the core. Oh, gosh. Oh. Could you please stop that ground on? I'm trying to get to you. No, man, I almost got that Pokemon. But no. There's more mist than ever. Something tells me that we're finally here. The domain of Groudon. Do you read me? It is I, the great Maxi. A device built into that suit you have donned allows me to talk to you. We have received the readings from your suit. They suggest that Groudon has appeared. Is my suspicion correct? Does it stand before you now? You must listen. Do not waste a single second. Leap upon Groudon's mighty back.
This is it, guys. This is the battle we've been waiting for against Primal Groudon. Now, this battle is not going to be easy, but we're going to have to try our hardest. Groudon's Desolate Land ability is going to instantly negate any water-type attacks that come its way. So we got to watch out for that. But my game plan is I'm going to be using Dragon Pulse. Depending on how much special defense Groudon has... Ooh. That is not doing a lot at all. He's going to try the Fire Plume attack. And we're going to tank that reasonably well, but we could do better. We do not want to roost. Because, since I'm a flying type, I'd lose the flying advantage versus ground on, and we'd have to land. Then it's ground type attacks could hit us. Obviously inflicting a lot of damage. I'm going to start flying. And hopefully that will knock him into the red. No, that's going to barely do anything. Ground on is insane defense stat. Sweet. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's just try and get another fly off. Hopefully he will not rest. Okay. Earthquake misc. Super. Let's get him in the red, and okay, we got him. Sweet. So now, we do not have any status ailments that can we can inflict onto Groudon. Paralysis will not work. So our best strategy here is to spam Ultra Balls, and come on, get in the ball. Darn it. That's fine. That's fine. I did not expect the first ball to work. I do not know what this Groudon's capture rate is, and uh, more Lava Plume. Oh gosh, that's actually doing a lot. Crap. Okay. We do have plenty of Black Ups. We have six Pokemon versus this one legendary Pokemon. Despite it being in its probable reversion state, there's no way he can burn through all six of them. So we should be fine. We got one Wiggle. Did not go through. It's fine. It's fine. We still got tons of HP and crap. I probably should have healed Hattie there, Shun and I. Oh gosh. That is definitely not good. Okay. Second plan. We got Awkward. Awkward has also extremely high defenses. We can possibly beat Groudon, or at least wall him off with his Mega Form. And then we'll continue to spam Ultra Balls. Actually, no, we can't uh, We can't throw Ultra Balls and go Mega Evolve. That's fine. We will just throw Ultra Ball, and it didn't go through. Not even a Wiggle. Son of a gun. That's fine, though. An Earthquake Attack is going to come out from Groudon. Thanks to Awkward's... Oh, gosh. I thought he'd take that a lot better. Oh, man. I guess we just got to keep hoping we throw Ultra Balls, huh? So come on. Not even a wig? Are you serious? How am I supposed to get you lower than that? Oh my gosh. Alright. Luckily that attack we dodged. Didn't want to know what would happen if it hit. Come on, awkward. You got at least one more chance to take an attack. Come on, just get in the ball. Not we're not getting any of these. What is going on? How hard of a Pokemon is this to catch? Gosh! Lava Plume will not knock us out, but man, this is getting really, really close. I did I thought Awkward would be able to take more than this. Goodness. Either way, though. Another Ultra Ball. One Shake. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? What is going on here? <sighs> Awkward is unfortunately going to fail and go down. Oh, my gosh. This is not looking good. We just lost our two tankiest Pokemon. We're just going to send an Abby. Hopefully... Hopefully, can take at least one Lava Plume. No, Lava Plume gets stronger the lower HP it is. Crap. Oh my gosh. All we can do is keep throwing Ultra Balls, so come on, Groudon. Just get in the ball, man! One Shake. Two Shake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we did it! We caught Primal Groudon. Oh my gosh. I, I was getting really scared there. But no, we eventually captured it. Heck... Yes. Oh, man. That takes a load off mine. Groudon is said to be a personification of the land itself. Legend tells of its many clashes against Kyogre, as each sought to gain power over nature. Oh my gosh, guys. We did it.
Johnny, it's really all over, isn't it? Johnny, we owe you great things. Look above you. The sky over Sutopolis has returned to normal. Somehow, it's so warm. Is the energy that had been amassed deep within the Cave of Origin now flowing out? To pour out over the greater world. It's as if the uncertainty and fear from moments ago never even existed. My heart feels like it's been softly set at ease. Hmph. <laughs> the sea or the land. Pokemon or humanity. All this time, we've just been trying to grab onto happiness for one of them. Even if it meant destroying the other. Look at how things have turned out. Now the world's got its natural balance back. We've got to rethink this thing from the very start. We've got to redo everything we've done from scratch and get it right this time. What do you say, Maxi? Mm. I suppose you may be right. However, personally, in my case, some wrongs cannot be atoned for, no matter how you try to right them. And I have committed wrongs so great as to bring the whole world to its knees. It may be that I... It may be too much to assume that I should deserve the chance to start or anything over. Leader, without a doubt you have committed an offense that can never be forgiven. You have wronged not only Team Magma, but all living things on this planet, wherever great or small. However, that is precisely why you must now set things right. You must continue to atone for the sins you have committed, even at the risk of your own life. To set right the wrongs you've done without running away in fear, isn't that how an adult accepts responsibility? Should you find the resolve to do so inside yourself, then I, Team Magma Admin Tabitha, I will serve at your side as counsel forever. Tabitha. Thank you. You know, someday we adults are gonna have to hand this world off to this little scamp of the rest of his generation. But, what kind of world are we adults gonna make? What kind of world do we want to pass to these kids? If we haven't even figured that out for ourselves, we're never gonna get anywhere. So, are we gonna make a world where everyone can coexist together? Or after all, is it gonna be a world that we claim by force? One that we fight and scrabble over? I don't know, but I think we can at least start by giving in some time and thinking it over. All of us can do it, whether we're Team Aqua, or Team Magma, or whatever. You were able to use the Blue Orb to great effect, so I imagine you will be able to handle this. Have Groudon hold it, and you should be able to control its primal reversion for at least a short period, such as during battle. And that's it for me. Later, Scamp. Farewell. Hmm. Team Magma and Team Aqua are made of people with completely opposing ideals and goals. But perhaps even they can learn to meet halfway. I know it's too much to expect that. Everything will change at once, but... I hope this crisis might at least help them take that first vital step forward. I imagine that many changes are happening now, Lacrosse Owen. I hope you were able to travel this world and see its richness with your own eyes, and reveal its newness in your own heart. But, for the present, you may first wish to challenge the city's Pokemon Gym. There you will find the very same Wallace who helped us so much waiting for you. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be capable of battling him on equal footing. And when you travel the world, you should try to use this. This flute is one of my favorite items.
The Eon Flute is proof of the bond between you and your Latios. No matter how far you may be from one another, play that flute and Latios will surely fly straight to you. Then it can make to the sky, soaring above this land, with you astride its back. Yes, just like when we first encountered Latios and Latios at Southern Island. Pokemon, people, nature itself, our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel I've just begun to understand that. And I'm wondering how the world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with unexplicable excitement. Johnny. As you and your Pokemon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what effect it will have on you. What will you think about? What ideals will you believe in? If we do get the chance to meet again, I hope you will be able to show me and my team the answer is you found. Until then. Whew. Finally, it's just the two of us again. I've got to say, thanks for everything you've done for our region. You know, I thought we were supposed to have set out with Little Root together. But, but you, Johnny, it seems like you just keep getting further and further ahead of me. I even started to feel like you've gone somewhere that I can't even reach. It's pretty lonely, you know? Not! <laughs> what would you think if we really said something like that? <laughs> anyway, you did something really amazing today, so try to take it easy for a while. See you later! Wow. What do you say after that? We did it, guys. We stopped Groudon and also saved the world. Seems kind of weird that in the next episode we're about to just go fight an ordinary gym battle, huh? Either way, though, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys in the next part, where we get our final gym badge. Bye.